welcome back to Bit by Bit here for another coffee break. Um, today we are talking about Pokemon Go and um, kind of what the release of Gen 2 means and whether or not we're getting back into the series, what we want from the series. If you want to call it a series, it's, it's just a, a mobile game, I guess. Um, yeah, we're just kind of talking through that and um, kind of seeing like what's up with are we getting back into it, um, where do we see the future of this going, um, and all that good stuff. So. For, I'll start things off, because um, I know, Jess, you said that you, like, haven't played since September, right? Mm -mm. Okay. I also hadn't played since around that same time, so um, so we'll kind of see, like, where we're at, and then kind of just talk through those things. So, for, you mentioned that you haven't played in a long time. I haven't played in a long time either. Um, I did recently start playing again, and so did um, the rest of the people in my apartment. So, uh, my brother and his girlfriend, they started playing again as well. Um, and, yeah, like, the, you know, I was skeptical on whether Gen 2 would bring me back, because... Um, I also felt like Pokemon Go was just like such a big rush of popularity and I got really into it and I'm like, I'm not going to get that into it again. Like I got really into it. Like by into this, I mean, like literally I went on, well, I went on a few runs to like catch some Pokemon because I'm also a runner. So I'm like double dip. This works. And then, um, me and Maggie, actually, we, we went like on a Pokemon Go adventure and we were outside for like hours, like hours, hmm. like we just walked up the, we live in Chicago. We walked up like the whole lakefront and just caught a bunch of Pokemon. And we were like around the beach and we were like hitting up stuff. It was like very, we had like, we had like, we had our chargers. Like we went to Navy Pier to charge our phones and McDonald's. It was very basic. It was great. I loved it. Call out Pokemon. I was really set on making my Magic Carpet Gyarados. Like I was all in on Pokemon Go. And then I just, mm -hmm. I stopped playing mainly because um, it got cold. So I'm like, it's mm -hmm. too cold to play. Cause um, I don't know how your guys' tech is, but my phone dies if it's too cold. Really? Outside. Yes. Oh, wow. Like, if you take, I have an iPhone 6 right now. Um, if you, like, have it out, like, just out, out, and it's really cold, if you have it out for too long, it will just die. And then when you plug it back in, it'll have, like, let's say it died at, like, 70% battery. When you plug it back in, it turns on. It'll be at 70% battery. Like, it just... Oh, it just quit, though. Basically, the phone's yeah. like, I don't do this, and then it just dies. So, I'm not gonna <laughs> play Pokemon Go um, in the winter. Plus, also, it's the winter. I don't want to... I'm just trying to get inside wherever I am. Um, so, yeah, um... I guess I'll run through some of the things that, like, I noticed with starting it back up again. Um, I started playing, like, a day or two ago, and um, I'm like, whoa, it's, like, a whole new game. Because there's been, like, a bunch of updates. I just haven't updated it at all. Right, yeah. yeah. So. Um, so some things I noticed were, um, and I guess you can kind of ask or, like, you know, get some ideas on, like, what this might have or not have. Um, but a couple things I noticed off the bat, there's, like, better animations to the Pokemon. So, like, when you're catching them, they're, like, more active and when you like catch a pokemon the little stars like also do a little swirly thing oh cute so that's cute and um there's also like and this might have been originally in the release i don't remember and if it was it didn't feel as predominant but there's like the um you know the day streaks and like that animation's a little bit nicer i don't know if they had streaks before did they have that day streaks like um you like like a two-day catching streak, like you caught a Pokemon for consecutive days. Okay, so I think that is new. I don't think so. Um, yeah, because I, I don't think that was a thing. So they have that. Um, and they also have uh, more clothing options, which Ooh. was a big deal for me because I thought I looked horrible. Cause yeah, you everything had those looks ugly horrible. jumpers. Yeah, yeah. Those ugly jumpers. So this here's the thing with that. There are more clothing options. Um, and let me kind of start to open up the app just so I can reference things. Um, but they're like... Only some of them are free, and like the really good clothes, you have to pay for like real, mm -hmm. real money, like your actual real life money. And um, that's weird. Like a lot of real life money. No, it's like you can get like the Poke Coins. Um, for those of you guys who aren't familiar, you get like Poke Coins in the game. And you can use it to buy anything you want. Um, you don't really need to buy anything in the game though. But if you want good clothes, you do need to buy those. And um, the ratio is like, like one dollar gets you like a hundred. Poke coins. Well, 99 cents. Cause you, you know, it's like the 499 thing, you know. Right, right. Um, so for me, I did, I did spend, this is the first time in my life I spent real money in a game, like in a game, not like on a game, like in a game. Um, and I spent 499 to get 550 poker coins because I wanted to uh, get more stuff. But hold on, actually, let me see if I can, I don't know if this will show or not, but like, um, I, I feel like it's worth it because I look just so much better. I don't know if this is going to come out at all, but I look just so much better now. Oh wow! I look so you good. Have, like, jeans. Yeah, I have jeans. I have a white shirt. And a war turtle. I have yeah. The war turtle didn't. I'd have to pay for that. No, just, no, just hanging out with me. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like I look. I just look better. And I have glasses now. I have glass oh, like in yeah, real life. Nice. Um, 
I just make my avatars look like me. Sometimes I'll dye my hair, but that's it. So the clothes, like, yeah, there's only, the good clothes cost money. Um, so I spent like five, I spent like 300 coins, like 200 on my jean coin, my jeans, like 100 on my shirt. Um, and then I assume there'll probably be more clothing coming out. So those are right. some quick things I noticed besides the fact that there is, you know, obviously Gen 2's there. Um, I feel like with Gen 2, they've now, like, changed the dynamic of, like, which Pokemon appears. So, like, for first gen, it was, like, a bunch of Rattatats. For this one, like, the very popular Pokemon is, like, it's the one that looks like a squirrel. This also made me realize I don't Threat? know my Pokemon very well. No, it looks like a, let me see, it's kind of, like, fat looking. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah, this thing. Centret. Centret. Yes. Right. Um, yeah. I also realized I don't know Gen 2 as well as I thought I did because um, I really only played the first Pokemon games and I stopped oh. watching the anime. So um, I'm like, what is this? Like, I <laughs> forgot what these are. But yeah, so um, I'm having a really good time with it because there's a bunch of new Pokemon and they're they're all cute and I just want to catch them and they're great. Um, so yeah, so like like Meryl's there and that's one of my favorite ones. Um, I like the derpy one, the, it's like blue was Wooper or something, right? Wooper? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wooper. So, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm like ready to like get back into it. Um, and I went on a, a Pokemon walk the other day, which was actually really nice because sometimes it's nice to go outside and walk. Like that's a good self care and physical health thing that you should do if you can. Um, if you like live in an area where you can easily just like, you know, go for a walk and it's not, you're not like on a highway or something, you know? Right. Um, yeah, so that was good. So I went around the park and I caught some Pokemon. I turned the AR on and got some cute screenshots of like the Pokemon I'm hanging out in my neighborhood by like hmm. the you know the Palitero and all that other stuff. So um, so that was that was good. So that's uh, been my experience with it. And also now you can walk with your Pokemon, which I found out a while ago via like the internet, but I didn't actually try it yet. So I have my uh, War Turtle hanging out with me. I don't remember what like that does i think it helps level it up or something um and then they've added more berries so like different okay. ways to like try to get your pokemon um and yeah so those are the those are the things i noticed from like having taken a break and coming back to it um so yeah see for me um so one of the reasons why i stopped playing wasn't because it's like there's no new pokemon or anything like that it's just, i realized that for me there was no point to it. Like I like to, I like games where I, there's like a goal, you know. Uh -huh. And I felt like I lost sense of having a goal. Like because for a while my goal was just to just catch all the Pokemon, you know, and like be a higher level than everyone else. Because I started Pokemon Go like a month and a half after it came out because I didn't have a phone that was compatible with it. Mm -hmm. And then I got a new phone and, I, and that was like my primary concern with my new phone was like, can it play Pokemon Go? Because um, everyone had been going on about it forever and I feel like I came in at the end of that hype but I, I went in hard on the hype for that like last <laughs> chunk that I was there. And, I, and then I caught more Pokemon than most of my friends who had been playing all summer and like that was a higher level and it was great. Um, <laughs> except for then I was like, what am I, like, but what's the point of this? You know, and so I thought, well, it's, you know, doing the gym battles and stuff. And so I do the gym battles. And sometimes it was um, a little torturous because uh, this was at a time when I was um, job hunting in Chicago and like apartment searching and all this other kind of stuff. And so I'd be on the bus and train a lot. And I was always trying to like, I was like, I hope this bus catches a red light. So I'm stopped right next to this gym. So I have enough time to fight the gym, you know, like mm -hmm. that kind of thing happening. And so, so it was hard to like find a gym where I like I had time to fight it before it cut out anyway. Um, cause if you get too far away, it just like ends your battle. Right. Right. And, uh, but then a even after I started winning gym battles, I was like, but what now? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like what, what do I, what's, what's my purpose? You know? And so it's not the same as like the actual Pokemon games where, you know, maybe your purpose is to be able to beat other people. Or maybe if you beat other people, you get this, you know, that kind of thing. And so I feel like the biggest feeling for me in Pokemon Go is that I can't fight my friends. That's all I want to do is fight my friends. So, um... But do they have anything like that or anything that's, like, no. more interactive with people? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't understand why the gyms are like that. I, I don't understand. Because it's so impersonal. I'm like, I don't know you, and I don't care if yeah. you have Yeah, I think trading yeah. might... That's supposed to come at some point. But I'd that's rather it. battle. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. And I get that it's a different dynamic yeah. than the original games, but I'm very into the original Pokemon right. games. That's and, like, fair. I love them. And so, like, I, I just... Uh, yeah. I yeah, I, I don't really like the gym battles that much either because it's just, like... I don't know. It's not very exciting. It's like you swipe and you tap, tap, and then you know. Um, and I know it's a mobile game, so it's kind of what the mechanics of mobile games are. But um, yeah, they're not that exciting for me. And typically, like, there's a lot of, at least to me, there's a lot of gym turnover anyway. It's like, oh, like now it's a um, Team Mystic gym, and then it's like, and then it's back to you know Valor. Now it's Instinct, and then it's back to Mystic, and then mm -hmm. it just it doesn't really have like, a lot of meaning um, for me. I guess I would. <laughs> I guess what everyone, I think, what the main complaint about Pokemon Go is is like. 
now let's just make Pokemon in real life as much as possible. Like, I would love to just walk up to someone and then, you know, a little music <laughs> starts or something, you know, and they just you just battle, <laughs> stick out your phone, you battle, and that'd be cool. That would be great. Though it also, I mean, they'd have to, like, make it in maybe a way where everyone's, like, the same level for battles, or though, because, like, what if, like, if that's kind of the thing that uh, suspension of disbelief in, in the actual Pokemon games, like the ones on, you know, the Nintendo handhelds, because, like, it just, it's so conveniently that, like, oh, everyone in the town is, like, this level, and then you go somewhere else, you know, right, in real right. life, that wouldn't be the case, which I guess is maybe one of the reasons they don't do it, but, and I think also they just want it to make it, like, just a different game. I do, I will say that I agree with you with, like, there's a point in Pokemon Go where I think you're, like, this is, this is kind of dumb. <laughs> like, it's, like, mm. it's the same feeling I get playing Sims. It's, like, this is a while. little, yeah. it's, like, and it's funny, because, like, when it first came out, um, there was, like, a bunch of people that loved it, and then a few people that were, like, it's stupid and you're stupid for liking it you know it was like that weird like like um like subgroup of gamers that were like really like bitter about it yeah in really weird that. ways um and that was uncomfortable and strange but um but i, I think i also felt that because i'm like well there's gen 2 but i mean who cares right and my goal is also just to catch them all and i'm like i just kind of lost steam for that like i was really into it when it first came out and then yeah, i was like too. like i really am gonna catch them all and now i'm like Whatever, but what, I don't happen, know, what happens when you do? Oh look, there's Nothing. one right now. They're so cute. Oh, okay, yeah. something about like, oh look, see, look, like, look, it's in my apartment. It's yeah, I do cup. like that. I do like that. <laughs> there's something like it will. It, at least for me, I like start it again, and I'm like, yeah, it's back again. Because there's something I don't know. Something really satisfying about about Pokemon, cute Pokemon appearing like via AR, and you being able just to catch them, and it's like, oh look, they're there. And there's like, I like the bonding experience of it too, like the social part even though I don't play with people outside of, like, my friend group that I would already hang out with anyway. But it's kind of fun just you're walking along with your friend, like, oh, hey, look, there's this thing. And then you stop and you both, like, touch it. Like, I, I really I like, like that. that. Um, and, like, I still like that. So I I was surprised how, like, easily it kind of, like, brought me back into the spirit of it because I had been away from it for so long that I am just, like, I guess I kind of forgot why I even liked it. Like, when people were talking about it with Gen 2, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to catch, like, a... Uh, is it Led Ledba? Ledba? Ladyba. Little, ladyba? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm going to get this Ladyba and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this sounds kind of silly. Like, whatever. I don't care. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to get this Ladyba. It's going to be great. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. So I don't know. Um, I think it's one of those things where once you like go for it, you kind of just get back into it again. So, so I'm getting back into it again. Like I'm ready to get like the, the portable charger out. Like I'm just, I don't think I'm going to play it quite as vehemently as I played it last time because I went really I hard last time. I always had it out last time. Yeah, but um, it's something fun to do if you're going for a walk. If you're, you know, on public transit and just chilling, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm going to go as hard as I did before, like I said, but um, I've been enjoying just randomly, like, picking it up and playing it because um, it is exciting when you're just, like, hanging out and then, oh, look, this thing popped up. Um, and then, yeah, so I don't know, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm just basic. I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like my problem is that I've got like kind of an obsessive personality and so mm -hmm. like i'm like i want it to either be like good all the time or i don't want it at all like because i need to be on it all the time if i'm into it i'm like okay it's, i've got downtime i got five minutes before work so i gotta go outside i gotta catch this thing one time when it first came out i went outside around 1 a.m in my at my house you know in vegas before i moved out to chicago um, so i was at my parents house after you know i graduated and um, and this was shortly after I got my phone. It was like the first three or four days, and I was laying on the couch, literally in my pajamas, ready for bed. And I was like, let me just pull out Pokemon Go to check if there's anything nearby. And there was a Nido King outside, and I walked around outside for like half an hour trying to find this Nido King. Did you find it? No. Oh, that's it nice. was horrible. But like, I couldn't go to bed because I was like, is it still out there? And then occasionally I'd go back inside and I'd open it up again. I'm like, it's still there, you know. And then I'd go back out. It's like so that was very frustrating for me and very weird. Um, but but that's what I enjoy you know I like like the compulsion to play mm -hmm. and I don't have the compulsion to play it right now um probably because I know that if I get back into it I'll want to play it all the time and then I'll be disappointed all over again when I realize how pointless it is <laughs> um so I, I um, it's kind of how I how I play the sims it's like I wait I wait for it to build up again you know in in my head is something that can be good because mm -hmm. like shortly after playing it i know it's bad i know that it's not fun i know that it won't bring me true joy you know that's what i know about the sims but then i can start to forget that and trick myself over time again if i wait long enough doesn't you know? sound very healthy why do you do that <laughs> that's the sims that's how it is um there's a lot of things that it's not very healthy i guess about the way i play video games but um 
you know, it's okay. Um, so that's how I that's how I play The Sims, and then I get back into it, and it's amazing, and it's wonderful, and it's perfect for like two weeks, and then I hate myself all over again. I'm like, this is horrible. That sounds like yeah. that does sound like Pokemon Go though, because uh-huh. I yeah, I feel like it's gonna come in. My, and my brother predicted this too. Like, it's gonna come in waves. Like, it'll pick back up when it gets warmer again. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, nice and all in that stuff. Summertime. Yeah, like, um, yeah, because I was like, oh, it's not really a point to this, and then then I like went around and i'm like oh it's all my favorite gen 2 friends and i get to like catch them and i and I, and that for me too that's my favorite part about pokemon um because some a lot of people's critique of pokemon go is like it's just a pokedex simulator you just catch them who cares you just throw a little ball like who cares like i don't know i like catching them they're cute and i know it's really it's really dumb because <laughs> pokemon go really is in a lot of ways um the the freaking uh like the neopets basically neopets. yeah exactly yeah. they're like it's like it's like this is dumb it's not real but also none of gaming is real i think neopets is better than i haven't i haven't really i didn't really do neopets when i was a, a kid like that um i think i did have one but i don't like it didn't have it didn't connect with me like that so mm-hmm. i don't know the experience but it reminds me of that because it's like oh look but i have them and it's like they're not real but none of gaming is real right which then you could argue this whole thing is stupid that's fine oh, whatever <laughs> um but like i guess it's kind of a little bit of that but i don't know what about pokemon go is like feels almost cheaper than that maybe it's a lack of story i guess There's probably a, i think it's the lack of goals yeah because you're just you're just There's catching lack things. of rewards for your goals well you get to have them and then you get to see them like level up yeah, but like, like yeah, yeah. you gotta have them but you don't like even for me one of the reasons one of the things i don't like about pokemon go at the mm-hmm. moment um is that uh, they're not there's no real bonding experience with the Pokemon themselves. Like, if mm-hmm. the difference when I play, like, the handheld, you know, like, on my Nintendo 3DS, I'm playing Pokemon, I get this one Pokemon and I train it from a baby to its adulthood and evolves. It has all, you know, all the stuff that we, we go through stuff together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when I play versus my brother, I start to have favorites. I start to have people who pulled me out of a tight spot, you know? Oh, yeah. That yeah. kind of thing. And and here, like, you, you like... <laughs> you can walk with them. <laughs> well, I might like to walk with them. Yeah. But I feel like, but it's, it's not cute. the same war turtle. You, like, sacrifice other war turtles to that war turtle to make it stronger that's weird it's like which one is it still the same one anymore like I well this one is Ekans, no this but... one is the same one because i found i found him in the wild and i was so happy because he was pretty, but if you find another squirtle that has a higher cp uh, value, war turtle yeah yeah you'll delete this one you'll send it to the to <laughs> professor oak and we all know that means it's like the dog that you send to the farm but it's actually dead right <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah a little yeah. bit so i don't like that aspect i guess as much i feel like that's why, that's why it's hard for me to like get into because i don't have a i don't have a problem at all with video games not being real that's great i love that video games aren't real you know what i mean um because like you can enjoy bad things happening i guess um like you know like i don't want there to be like space wars in real life i'm like that sounds stressful you know but like in, in a video game i'm like this is cool i'm a space hero i love it you know like that's different than like having things like that happen in real life right um so i don't have a problem with i don't have a problem with video games not being real but i do like having goals and like a meaningful way to achieve those goals with like proof of my achievements yeah you know? and i feel like there's like a lack of that in pokemon go um which i don't think i was annoyed about that much when it first came out because i was like well it's a new game and they're working stuff out but i feel like it's something they should have like addressed i don't know for yeah. me for me I'm not, I'm not normally like a mobile gamer anyway mm-hmm. so i'm not sure if um maybe this is just like how mobile gaming is um, you, you know i'm not yeah really sure. i mean it's interesting too because this is like one of the few um like augmented reality games um which i mean i think everyone at this point knows what augmented re- reality is what ar is but you know it's it's pokemon go where you can like super impose if that's the right phrase you know like virtual things in like real life so like oh it looks like this thing's in like the real world but it's not it's like on your screen you know it's, it's like, like the psyduck in your toilet and the yeah, yeah it's stuff like that Which all the sounds, pictures you put on Instagram that's why it's, it's, yeah. the, that's why it's game of the year <laughs> well that's why it's, in your it's pretty funny but it loses its um, novelty pretty fast I feel like yeah so. I think I will yeah I don't like I said I don't think I'll get as into it as I did before because it was just so it was so like great to like have a Pidgey in your beer and your you know <laughs> and it was just like uh, a fun silly thing um but yeah, so I guess to kind of start to wind down, I guess the yeah, then I guess you won't you won't be coming back, maybe then. I'm gonna challenge myself to not get back into it. Okay, you don't want to get back into it. It's the same. It's like this again. The same thing. Because sometimes okay. when I finish Sims, I'm like, I I'm like, I know how bad it makes me feel. Like it makes it actually, actually like makes me feel like like. You know when you stare at a screen too long in general? It's because the reason why is because uh-huh. I play The Sims, I play it for like eight hours straight, and uh-huh. then I go to bed and I wake up and I play it again all day. I mean, obviously not anymore because I'm an adult with responsibilities, but, you know, back when I used to, I uh-huh. didn't have anything I had to do during the daytime. Um, and so that, like, makes me feel, like, 
like my whole like physically makes me feel not well you know and so I'll like and then I'll go get in the shower you know and whatever and I'll be like okay you can't go back you can't go back okay <laughs> and um, I know this is ridiculous but it's true you're being held against your will by sims <laughs> yeah pretty much mm. um that's why the sims feel about you but you almost always go back at least the first time you mm-hmm. know but that sounds that sounds awful you have to challenge yourself not to for a while <laughs> um and then after it's it's like detoxing right uh-huh. after you've not done it for a while you're like I don't even remember, you know, how it was, like that kind of thing. And it's like, everything's so wonderful now. Um, and you don't remember that horrible time at all um, until you until you relapse. So um, I don't want to relapse with Pokemon Go. I think that's it'll fair. make me feel bad about myself. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> got really heavy, like really too quick. Intense, yeah. But no, I mean, I don't know. I guess I think that could be, be a whole other video that we could do, like unhealthy relationships with games. I, I don't that. know if I have that quite as much. No, we should, because I'm thinking of playing The Sims again soon. So. It'll just be, um, like, uh, we'll just have you on camera. I won't even be there. It'll just be like a, like a, like, like, it'll be like real world style, where you're like in the, the little, like, box alone, and you're the confessional, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd um, be great. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, um, I think, now I'm, now I'm scared to play Pokemon Go. <laughs> like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I don't mean to scare all our viewers <laughs> with my um, dysfunction. So yeah, but for, for me, I, I, I just like it because I like looking at the cute Pokemon. That's basically the only satisfaction I get I think from that's it, totally fair. Which is, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's its main appeal. Unless you're like, um, that and like going outside and like doing stuff. It's nice to go on a walk. Yeah, like it incentivizes going on walks for me a little bit. So that's kind of nice um, because I don't do that as often as I should and I... For me, I really value like going out and walks, getting fresh air, because all I do is game or write, um, and those are all like the same. Like it's all just screens and like focusing on screens. And then when I when I write, I'm writing about games, so it's like oh, it's too much. It's too it's much. A lot. And granted, now when I go outside, I'm still gaming, which is uh, debatably also not a good thing either. But I don't know. I'm on my phone a lot anyway. Like if I'm not in Pokemon Go, I'm gonna be on Twitter. So right. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm ex- I'm just excited about Gen Two because there's like new cute little little creatures to catch and that's that's nice at the very least um so yeah but now i'm not gonna lie it has like a dark it has a dark shadow a little bit now sorry i don't <laughs> mean to bring you down said. um it's just that kind of day you know yeah that's fine yeah, you so. know the sun's setting I feel better if it helps it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. good that's good um well i guess uh yeah that's <laughs> just really got really happy really quick but uh i guess let us know if you if you ever end up going back to it um, put up some screenshots on our on our okay. Twitter. Yeah, and let, maybe. Let, let me know if you come back. Because I know I, tw- I texted you and I was like, send me any screenshots of your Pokemon Go. And you're like, never. Okay. Did you? Like a while ago. Oh, like, okay. It was like days ago. Um, I probably just missed it. I was, like, just I, was te- I was like, send yeah, me any, so. any of anything you have. Um, cool. Well, uh, guys, be sure if you're watching this on YouTube to like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel, um, and leave a comment below about whether or not you're playing Pokemon Go again or maybe for the first time or mm-hmm. what what you like about it, what brings you back to it, what keeps you away from it, any of those things, your feelings towards uh, the game. Um, and you guys can also like let us know your thoughts, feelings, questions, concerns on our Facebook or our Twitter, uh, both of which can be accessed via our YouTube page. Um, our Facebook is at Bit by Bit Gamers, and our Twitter is at Bit by Bit Gaming. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.